What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lurker back with another video. This video we're going to be looking at who's the most successful influencer. Alright, this video is by Jubilee. They just dropped it today. So I'm going to do my reaction today and then upload it. So, three, two, one, roll the intro. So to begin, we're ranking seven spots. We're ranking, oh, their income. Okay, so it's not how many followers you have, it's income. It makes sense. Who's the most successful? Okay, so most successful based on income, okay? I'm, I'm, bro I, I, I'm probably nowhere on here. <coughs> I think last time I checked, I got four subscribers. Love you guys. And if you're liking my videos, make sure you subscribe so you can join the Lurker Train. Okay, the group will start off by assessing appearances. They aren't allowed to mention their... Okay, they're not allowed to mention any money. This is just based off of appearances. I'll try and rank them too. Oh, no, you give me okay. First impressions, let's see. This is going to be hard. Hold on, oh, let me just... Me, like, let me go... Let me just... Let me listen to them first before I make my judgments. Looks. I will like, put you in the front. I actually know who this is. <laughs> so she might be the number one. Since out of all of them, she's the only one I know who she is. And if you know who she is, then you must be cultured. She makes content on YouTube. What did you think I was talking about? Great, actually. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna shoot down like three spots. I disagree. I personally believe you probably make one billion dollars. <laughs> I agree. I was Why? gonna say the same thing. He gives me. He looks like. Gamer. Yeah, oh, like that's a gamer. I'm gonna put him in the middle. He's oh. still mentally here for me. I feel like your shoes, Raya, are kind of expensive. I can't tell if it's like yeah. a knockoff, but quality platforms are usually like. Plus the all. Yeah, she looks like she's up there too. She might be number one, number one, or number two. She could be number one, I just don't know who she is. What's her name, Rhea? 200 yeah. to 300. Yeah, her name was Rhea, so I've, I've never heard of her, but, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe she's somewhere where I, where I haven't seen. She could be up there. Her uh, outfit looks really nice. The uh, necklace looks nice. Oh, and she's tatted. She's kind of cute. You give me, like, cute. um, you have, like, a million followers on Instagram, and you do, like, model shoots every single day, like, fashion shoots. So. All the girls are cute. The guys are quiet. It makes me wonder, where they rank? I want to put her in the middle. What's your name? Yeah, see, the guys aren't even really talking. Grace. I don't know, you give me like the vibe that you have, you make a lot of money like selling cookies. With your selling nice cookies? Or like sweaters on Etsy <laughs> or something. Very sweet. Very sweet. Yeah, You're very sweet. And she probably does something on TikTok. She looks like a TikTok um, Gen Zer influencer. You have a fun TikTok, TikTok. So Maybe she does like funny videos or something. Or, or like fashion videos. I feel like a lot of them do like fashion. I think you are like over here, over here, yeah. She's probably like a model. She probably is a Twitch streamer. He, I don't know what he looks like. He dresses like how I dress though. I like this. I kind of like it. I'm cool with this too. You think this makes sense? Mm, I'm going to disagree. I think Rhea should be one more ahead. Okay. Yeah, see. She should, she should probably be right here. She should probably be number two, I think. Just based on everybody's fit. I would put Josh like further right in front up. of me, like, maybe. Yeah, maybe between you two. Yeah, I agree. I would be good right here. Josh, no, no. Josh, no. <laughs> Josh. Oh, the modest black guy. Where's your sweater? From? He's so chill. H and M. H and M. Okay. Um, so H and M. I see him doing like chill videos, maybe on. Maybe on TikTok. Maybe everybody's a TikTok person. It's like a classic. Though. I'm like, barely on TikTok. Wear, like only H. I don't. I, I don't. I don't get the whole crave with the um, the real short videos. I I like long content, long form content. 
No, that's, that's why I consume content. Usually on tw uh, YouTube, sometimes on Twitch. Uh, rarely shorts or Instagram reels or I'm, I'm rarely on those. Them, but they make good money. Well, it's because like a lot of girls wear Fashion Nova, but they're wearing like a thousand dollar shoes. Fashion Nova. So, I don't hate this lineup. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I kind of think it's... You think this is the lineup? Okay. The influencers will now discuss what niche they're in. Okay. Now we get to see what they kind of do. And you can kind of judge or you can prejudge who you think the most successful influencer is based on what niche they're in. Like if somebody's in tech. I make TikTok videos TikTok, about like tech reviews. And TikTok and tech. Oh, that's okay. Funny. I run a couple businesses from it. Oh, what he runs tech businesses? businesses? Like laptops, computers. Like type on keyboards. I make like custom ones. Um, okay. So he does tech and he dresses like this. He probably makes a decent amount, but I don't know for sure yet. Um, And I also now. He could be like a, a CEO. He dresses like. A, like a, a young Jeffrey Bezos or something. I'm getting to like clothes, so I designed this hoodie. I feel like you're great with money, so mm -hmm. even if you- Oh, he said he designed the hoodie too? So he does, um, merch. You maybe technically didn't like bring in as much as some other of us a couple years ago. You maybe have grown it more because you're probably very smart. I'm sure you're investing. Hmm. I feel like you absolutely I think need to go needs up. How many TikTok accounts do you have? Three. That have done well. You sat in my spot. I'm I would just scary over here. Yeah, <laughs> I would. I would put you. Like no, Kazumi. Kazumi definitely belongs at number one, because I know who she is. I've seen and I've seen her like on other um, YouTuber stuff, like Jimmy Zhang. I've seen her on Jimmy Zhang's stuff, but I don't know any of these people, so I don't know how I would rank them. Right now, it looks fine. I wouldn't move him. I would keep him here. We haven't even we haven't even heard what everybody's niche is. We just second. heard that he does tech. tech is a lot. All we did was hear that he does tech, and then they want to put him second. Plus, you have all those other income streams on top of it. Yeah. Too. So I, I teach people agree. how to be content creators, but I'm also a Twitch streamer. You sell course. Yeah, right? Twitch. Ah, uh, I she don't looks sell like course she because I believe games. in like making education free for people. So. Oh, that's hella dope. Yeah. Education should be free. If people are charging you like, you know, fifty dollars a month for a course on how to be like an influencer, they're just scamming you. If you want to be an influencer, just get out there and do it. That's what I think. I mean, I'm not super famous or anything, but I watch like a lot of successful um, YouTubers like Mr. Beast and Ludwig. And I just see how they kind of operate. So, you know, you just learn from the greats and then you just implement it in your real world lifestyle or work style anyway. I don't like paywalling info. How do yeah. you make your income? Yeah, um, paywalling yeah. info is so like... I get two dollars and fifty cents for every sub that i get yeah. that's like one way that i make my money yeah. and basic TikTok twitch. sponsorships yeah. mainly and tiktok have, like, sponsorships and YouTube and stuff, but she like, might really not be that high like, lucrative platforms but also you have a lot they're of they're lucrative but <clears throat> like i wonder if, if any of them recognize each other like because this is who's the most successful so some of these people must recognize each other it can't just be me as the only person that recognizes Kazumi. Of morals, which makes me think you don't make as much money. <laughs> you have I still think Raya should be up here. Him, I think maybe he could be in the middle. Because he's tech and we don't know yet. We don't know what we don't know what any of these people do yet. We just know he does tech and we know she does Twitch. You sold your soul. I don't know why they want to move people. Wait until we hear what everybody's niche is. Yeah, I mean, that, with the LA rent rising, though. <laughs> I still don't think you should be last, though. Like, I don't feel like she should move until we hear a couple more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would keep myself down here. I was here. Be like, <laughs> put her here. <laughs> uh, so I do a few different things. Uh, um, my big one is I am a sex educator. Okay. So I host a podcast. We just launched the podcast. Three seasons. Three seasons. So three seasons. 
Uh, and I do sex education content on my Instagram as well as on my TikTok. And then I also upload all the podcast episodes to my YouTube channel. Ooh, oh, I YouTube don't. Is that and she's been doing it for three years. But yeah, I think she's higher. I think she's higher. My my one caveat. What do you guys think? Comment below. I think she's higher. Is sex education, which in terms of making money through sponsorships, not it's many companies would want to unfortunately work with a sex educator, even though I think it's like a cool And thing. it's harder to get ad revenue yeah. because um, I'm constantly, you know, working Shadow through thing. bands. The thing with sex um, content and sex educational content and all that stuff is that, yeah, you only, you only get a certain niche sponsorship possible. Like Adam and Eve is like the only thing you can get really. But that industry makes so much money on its own. Like, some OnlyFans creators make crazy money. And that's how I know Kazumi makes crazy money. Because I know she has an OnlyFans. I, well, um, I'm, I'm guessing she has an OnlyFans. Like that. How are you making most of your money? Though? Through all of those, as well as OnlyFans. Ooh, See? OnlyFans. See, OnlyFans. OnlyFans makes money. Yeah. yeah. Mm. OnlyFans has such an uncapped potential. I would put you up here. Third. Yeah. Third? Like top three for yeah. sure. Okay. All right. Mm. So uh, I make like content just around like money, and I try and teach Gen Z uh, good like money habits with short little funny videos. Finance. Oh, uh, so he's a finance. He's a Gen Z finance uh, guru on TikTok, probably. He makes like videos. Okay. He makes that that um, short form content that I was talking about that I don't I don't really get into, but I know Gen Z likes that a lot. I'm a millennial. I'm an old head. Makes so much money. I didn't even put my beanie on today, so now you guys can see my horrible hairline. Because not only do they push it, but you also get so many sponsorships, especially from YouTube. Are you on YouTube or are you on primarily TikTok? It, it goes like in this order, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube stuff. I okay, he does short form content. So he does, um, Instagram has reels, um, and then he does YouTube shorts, and then he does TikTok. Okay. Um, so he does that, and then the other guy does tech videos. So he does tech videos and he does finance videos. I feel like those videos also, especially but the he way said he has a business. comedy, are super shareable. Like those are the kind of TikToks that end up on Reels, they end up on Facebook. Oh wait, I would. Did he say he has a business? Did he say he has a business? Does anybody have a bit? This just says most successful influencer. I would suspect that all of them have businesses, at least an LLC. Put you up because definitely you do finance. Yeah. Finance is such a lucrative niche. I yeah, I agree. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Okay, I am a TikToker. I knew it. <laughs> I knew I could tell. Uh, I do like, mostly fashion stuff, like secondhand fashion, okay. vintage stuff, and lifestyle. What do you sell? Uh, I don't really anymore. I started like my TikTok promoting my online vintage shop, and that's how I became a TikToker. And now I just like do fashion stuff. Do you do it full time? Yeah. Just so your stuff. revenue comes from sponsors. Yeah, it's like all social media now. I don't know. Fashion makes like no money that's unless true. you're a thin white woman. So. Well. I mean, <laughs> so she's a thin white woman. The thing is, though, they all look really young, and I don't know them. Gen Zers might know all these people, but but I only know Kazumi. And so, being plus size in the social media industry is definitely. I'm trying to think hard to see if I recognize them from there's anything. There's visibly fat plus size people, and then there's people with the quintessential perfect curves. She's big, but she is really beautiful. Almost, unfortunately, how plus size are you? If you do lifestyle, but you're a small creator, you get nothing. Like they yeah. literally yeah. only gifting campaigns, and then like even then they gaslight you into feeling like you should be grateful for it. Yeah, absolutely. but <laughs> given I'm guessing you sound like you're a very large creator, and then like I feel like I've seen your videos on my pre page, I would maybe put you first. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. I'm also this is like my first year doing. This. Yeah, I, I say, we I don't know anyone's right here. In front I don't of me. think I make more than Yeah, that. that's why I don't know any of them. Because most of them are on TikTok. Let's try. If if you are mostly on TikTok, if you're on TikTok more than you're on YouTube, which is weird because if you're on TikTok more than you're on YouTube, you wouldn't really see this video unless you were just on YouTube and you just this randomly popped up in your recommended. That's interesting. Comment below how you even found my channel. 
I want to uh, I want to hear what some of you guys have to say. Okay, so I um, am a plus size supermodel, so everything supermodel. I do is pretty much okay. lifestyle around that. And it's been my full time job for about four years now. Four I have years. A cannabis and sexual wellness podcast. So I do that separately. I also have my own consultation. Her and Raya should be higher. I teach aspiring Maybe, plus size models. Know. So I have an online course that's a master class that I do quarterly. And then I also have a blog separately that I post on one to, at least once a week. And the ad marketing is just starting on my blog. So it's not. One thing that I do notice in the world is that beauty and like women especially can make a lot of money based on their beauty. And if you're a, if she's even, she's a plus size mo supermodel. So she makes, she probably makes a lot of money. Her and Raya and Kazumi. Kazumi the most. Looks like Kazumi's looking at me. Doesn't it look like she's looking at you? Like if you're watching this video right now, look at Kazumi. Looks like she's staring straight at you. Okay, back to the video too far in there but i'm very familiar with ad marketing and revenues have a, a lot i will put you first Absolutely. like just, yeah you have Absolutely. so many streams of income, so many streams I of income. Yeah. I, you just seem very very knowledgeable and what about you Kazumi? i do only fans i also do told you guys i'm just a good guesser i didn't know that by like i i i, I don't i don't do only fans Yep, I know her from YouTube, of course. My is TikTok, not specifically from ad revenue, but I make like seven to ten TikToks and I just like pump out as many reels as you can. day? Yes. With wow. different creators. With different I can't do that. That's that's a lot of content. My OnlyFans, but I do, I make a lot of me. And I'm not good at like short form content. I don't get it. That's like my kind of my niche. I make more Do you have a film? I'd rather watch like long form content. Like this jubilee video that i'm watching and like this video that i'm posting on youtube for other people to react to Gordon, we hope. sorry got a little inception crazy there. yeah i do <laughs> i do have a billboard in we hope. i saw that okay. yeah. yeah do you take sponsorships no i'm a sex worker so they don't sponsors don't want me or my face to represent their brand the only reason but i, I, away I recognize is because her. I, also I recognize her so she's still number one on my list. I'm a sex educator, so, yeah. but it's, it, I completely understand the second they hear that you have any sort of like OnlyFans or sex work. Yeah, and I've gotten deleted like seven times. Yes. Where do you oh, rate, wow. like what's your percentage on OnlyFans? I'm 0 0.01. Damn, okay. that's, no, that's right. high. <laughs> yeah, that's high up there. That's why, that's why she's the most recognizable. That, with that right, that right there. Oh, <laughs> I'm not the one. switch. Absolutely. The influencers will now compare their content. Oh, they're going to actually look at each other's content. This is an interesting How many segment. You've been with. Okay. Um, I used no, to do. That's no jumper. Parties and I would get for like 50 dudes a night. Okay, so you're on no jumper. Yeah. yeah. That's the kind of video that goes viral. I mean, there's yeah. there's no doubt about yeah. that. that video has millions of views. So my photo is a photo of me. And Ooh, spicy. Vogue. Um, <laughs> See, so she's a supermodel. My butt's in vogue. Does Vogue yeah. play a lot? It's almost kind of like, like I don't being know. a Playboy centerfold in a sense of like it's an honor. Okay. Oh. Congrats on your new baby. Insert cash or select payment. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? The average cost of childbirth and pregnancy <laughs> care in the U.S. is $6,940. Uh, it's, it's funny, but it's scary because it's true. With health insurance. Or thirteen thousand dollars without, and it can vary wild. I changed my mind. What's your except you, policy? Like except you can't do that. You can't do that. That's where the humor comes in. <laughs> this is my dad, and this is his at-home work setup. No, I mean, I guess you you could do that. I, I mean, you'd have to set your kid up for adoption if that's what you really wanted to do. I'm not gonna hate on anybody for doing what they feel they should do. It's the same reason why I'm pro-choice. He hates it. So today, I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm gonna first add a custom keyboard I built for him and a mouse, and then we're gonna go ahead and give him the Fopo triple monitor so laptop adapter. This is gonna turn his single laptop screen into a triple monitor like adapter. Ooh, that looks nice. I should get that from my laptop. Yeah, I do a lot of get ready with these. Instagram picture. And I wanna- This is what I, this is what I imagine her doing. Like, anytime I get on TikTok, I, I, I just see videos like this 
on my for you page. <laughs> and I, I just don't get I don't get it. I don't get the content. I have to like scroll to find the actual funny ones and you know you just you're just passing through people. I would rather a stronger bond. A stronger bond with my audience. But maybe she does have a strong bond with her audience. She might have a lot of fans. That probably has like millions of views. You can't see how many views Wait, it is. Yeah, that's pretty much what I. Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah. The only thing is, you can't see the views. Our kissing partner's face is actually opening up our nostrils and making. Man, I wish you could see, like, you know, when you're actually on TikTok and you can see the. The likes, the comments, the shares. Yeah, I wish you could see that because then you could easily tell who the most successful influencer is. Like, more obvious doing it this way, it, it makes it a little body tougher. Will actually react to that person's pheromones and can make you more... You have to go based on her content. Like, let me go back. Her content is uh, sex education, so it probably has millions of views, too up against our kissing partner's I could, face I could see is it. actually opening up our nostrils and making their pheromones more obvious to us. And whether you realize I don't know that how money on TikTok will actually react works. to that person's pheromones and can make you more attracted to them if your body thinks they're a good biological match. I would kiss you. That's woke. <laughs> That's website for Twitch streamers. Twitch Tracker is a website that tracks your stream data. It'll show you the max. She she actually does TikToks more like the ones that I see in my for you page. Because I mainly follow, like, you know, Twitch subscribers. I'm surprised I don't know her or follow her on Twitch. I might try and follow her on Twitch. Viewers, follower gains in the amount of hours you stream per stream. They Kat also have a very Liente. nice graph showing your average viewer count and the amount you streamed. And cool stats like average viewer count per day. Yeah. Yeah, I'll follow her on Twitch. Cat Liente is her Twitch. That's like similar to the type of Things content I, I do. To know. Oh. I feel like I should go down on the tech men. I feel the like tech men should I want to up. put. Mm, I think your name is I don't know. You second because I saw that. I still think Raya should be second. Um, Cat. I don't know, like somewhere here, the guys. Mm, well, the girls that do be beauty stuff, I think, are the top three. So I think Kazumi's number one, Raya's number two, and she's number three. And then that leaves the four, which I think it might be her, him, her, him. Something like that. I don't know. I, I saw that ad. Tech pays well. That ad was really well edited. It I'm was. I'm pretty sure companies will see that. It was. Like, I want, I want to go. People like looking at pretty girls on the on their screen though more than guys talking about tech like i'll i'll watch his stuff but you know doesn't mean everybody would her stuff is twitch it's more my it's my cup of tea and then i'd probably follow a uh, somebody doing se sex education because that's just helpful information she does fashion she was doing fashion in her tiktok I would probably also follow I him. I would probably also follow him. I liked his video. <clears throat> I liked his humor. I like funny videos. If, if I'm going to watch short form content, I want it to be funny. And it's got to be funny really fast. So that's hard to do. So I I definitely respect him. Second, yeah. I'm okay where I'm at. <clears throat> okay, now they're... Okay. Now we're gonna hear their follower counts. Here they are, all their follower accounts. Kazumi's the only one I knew. Yeah, almost 500k on Instagram. Okay, it makes a little bit sense why I don't know some of these people. Josh is up there, but he has more on Instagram, so he's probably hitting Instagram heavy. And on TikTok, on TikTok, Haley's high and Raya's high. And I was saying Raya would be high. She has 21K paid on OnlyFans. That's a lot of people.
Yeah. Round of applause for them. That's so crazy. And I'm incredibly great. I'm not grateful, but, you know, it's just, it's cool seeing other people's accomplishments. The world doesn't have to be so negative all the time. Do you guys feel like numbers, like a follower count matters? No. Oh, hell no. Absolutely, Absolutely no. not. One thing I'd like to... I mean, yeah, the follower count doesn't really matter. Because what, what matters and how successful you are is what you can do with the money that you're given. So if you do take sponsorships, you can, if you can take small sponsorships here and turn that into something big and grow a net profit from you know the the initial amount of money you were given that equals success if you if you waste money then you're unsuccessful and then you don't make any money all these people make money though they all Say they like all have quality, to i think numbers numbers probably matter a little bit i'd say numbers matter a little bit maybe just 700k on facebook god damn depending what industry you're in because i have a friend who has quadruple the following do i is she familiar to me? I don't know. I do, and ten times the engagement, and I make three times as much as she does because of the quality, and I sell usage rights so people can use it as ads. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think, that's I think a lot. Yeah, I would I I second. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How many hours do you guys work? I work every day. A lot. Yeah. Like mm. this week, I worked like they're grinders. Eighteen-hour days at minimum. There's no day where I'm working le like almost every single day where I'm working less than five hours. At least, I'm not trying to diminish what they were saying. Like it is hard work, and like when she was talking about like, oh, like work doesn't end, but like it's like it does. You can go get a movie and like sit in your bed and scroll emails. It's not the same as like being expected to be somewhere and like be a slave all day and be off your phone. Like you're not a person when you're at work, but like you're a person when you're doing this job. It's hard to when you do a job like this because at first I was like, oh, I don't actually you know, work that many hours, but then you, it's like the second I wake up, I'm checking and I'm deciding what I'm going to yeah, do that day. Yeah, it's and the actually second like I all yeah, I don't even make money from YouTube, but so far, I think I've done like 20 some videos. Like it does kind of feel like a job because you always have to have an idea of what to do. And even though my idea is really easy, I'm just reacting to stuff, you know, I just want to bring, you know, interesting videos that I find on the internet, to a fan of lurkers. So you four lurkers that are out there. This one's for you guys. Work all the day. Yeah. yeah. It's like, how do you decipher what's yeah, working? Yeah, so it's not. hard when you're not doing it. Like, I'm maybe not working four hours straight because I'll stop and I'm, I have the privilege of being able to grab lunch with friends or shop in the middle of the day or, like, do whatever I do. But that doesn't mean I'm not constantly, you know, mm -hmm. working in some capacity. And then, like, so weekends don't exist. Right, exactly. Yeah. 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 There's really no days off. How was your come up? Because I started with gaming content and then I transitioned into education. Yeah, gaming content. Okay, so you went to gaming. And then, yeah, she went to education. She she's the one that wants education to be free. Like when? If I did education content, I would do free too. I would do free education content. Oh my god, love gaming. But um, like especially as like a female gamer who was trying to do content, I got memed on so much. Everyone's like, oh my god, you're such an e girl. Like yeah, a, like A V G e girl, e girl aesthetic. Haha, you suck at the game anyway. And now it's in. Dude. And now it's so crazy how people want to be hateful for no reason. Like, the next time somebody's hateful to you, towards you, here's my advice. Just laugh at them and then ignore them. <laughs> because it's so funny. It's funny that they're mad. It's like I aesthetic. know, and now it's cool, right? What year were you doing that? I was doing it in, like, 2018, 2019. Okay. I was doing it in 2011. Oh. oh, wow. To be a female YouTuber in a male-dominated space Yeah, in she's up there. Was Brutal. She has Especially to be out there. Do you feel like you have to work harder or um, fight for what you're worth as a black man? I don't know if I necessarily have to fight harder, but it is a little bit harder to stand out, like get people to take you seriously. It's actually one of the reasons that uh, I've signed with Damn. a management agency that only represents black creators. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it just feels like a, you know, like a small family. That's cool. I gotta look that up. Absolutely. And, you know, I know that they're like out there fighting they're to get like team. what's best for yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. They've been. That's really cool. I never thought of something like that, but that's cool for him that he's doing that. So helpful because I've run into other black creators that have yeah. like my similar following and a similar niche. I mean, they're earning way less and there's so much more money out there that they're just not getting, mostly because they don't know exactly what they're worth. I don't know. This looks like it makes sense. I feel yeah. like it doesn't. I feel like I need to go yeah, I down wanna, one I or wanna two. I want to move down. I feel like with the <laughs> YouTube AdSense, maybe I would switch this. I think we switch. Maybe. We switch. 
And I yeah. think Raya should be higher. Okay, but I want to I want to say this though. They I have I have a modeling agency, and eighty percent of the work that I get, I get myself. That's fair. It's more about him getting what I don't feel the need. But Raya should be number two. One, Haley's so. number three, I think. Interesting. That's just my take. You have what's, multiple businesses. What's your second biggest channel again? That's my it's take too. For my business, and it has seventy five thousand. Now I have employees, and I don't really do anything. Oh, you have employees. I really don't think I should be. Oh. They think employees mean something. Employees means he probably doesn't make as much because he's got to pay someone. Like Raya, I feel like she pretty much works for herself. Same thing with Kazumi. They work with themselves because they, they they have such a huge fan base. So I, I feel like she has a huge fan base on OnlyFans too since they're the only two that do OnlyFans, I think. I don't know if Haley does. Her name's Haley, yeah, right? I think he needs you to be a second. Oh, His employees. I feel like I just want to move myself in between, in between us. You guys. I, I, that makes sense or to me. Or like lower. How do we feel about this? This, yeah, this looks like our final answer. I think Raya's higher. I think we're good with this. Now, the influencers will re be rearranged based on their actual yearly earnings. See, what was I saying? What what, was, what would I say? Having employees means that you're spending a lot of money. Ooh, I thought she was third. Six figure club. Six, six figure club. Oh, oh yeah, they are. Cause the lowest, if he's the lowest, he he makes more money than a lot of people. A lot of people in the real world. All so all these people. Oh, cat, 175. Grace. Grace. So they were correct. Third spot, Josh. Josh is number three. Okay. I knew you were up here. Okay, Raya's. Okay. Oh, Raya. And the first spot, Kazumi. Kazumi. Yeah. She's she was the only person I knew, like I said. <laughs> but not because not because of OnlyFans. I mean, I knew she had OnlyFans, but I'm I'm. I mean, I'm not an OnlyFans subscriber. I saw her on Jimmy Zhang. Sex worker? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I dress. Retire so. tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so here's their actual ranking. Their final group ranking. They got it way wrong. Well, they were close with him. I got these two right. People uh, hate when you make a lot of money right, in a non-traditional me, way. Yeah, full they really hate when you make it off sex work. Yeah. So I was very, very nervous about the reaction. I am an anomaly and I don't represent what all <laughs> sex workers make. I'm Damn, three million. Wow. Make a lot of money, but it is still something that you should deeply consider before getting into because it is something that has holds a lot of social stigma and does make life hard if you don't like doing it. And uh, I just want to say that y'all have motivated me because I feel Damn. like I became like comfortable with what I was doing and like I haven't been pushing myself recently, but now I'm like y'all are doing so well. And I'm like, well, that's you're crazy. Really you woke well. up and made a whole website by yourself. Also, you're that took yeah. me like three great. months on my great. blog to do. Yeah, when I was 19, I was homeless. He doesn't give himself uh, too much credit because, yeah, he is young. So I am really proud of you and whatever. I think Kazumi and uh, Rhea, I think they're um, older. I think they're probably like, mm, I don't know if they're older than me. You've done and the fact that you can employ people. And, and I doubt they're older than me. They, they look like they're probably in their mid-twenties. Do so many. But he looks like he's like 18 or 19 things of your life. I think there's an idea of what an influencer is in people's heads and I think it's usually like a airheaded person <clears throat> who just takes selfies or uses a selfie stick. They don't understand. Yeah, they're people. All like all influencers are people, but for some reason it's cool to make fun of influencers. And influencers are always these ditzy people that don't have opinions of their own. It's so crazy. And I think maybe the nuance. Like, I was kind of weird coming into it. All right, well, that's it for this video. What do you think? What do you think about influencers and what it takes to be successful? Do you also agree that 
education on how to be successful influencers should be free for everybody like should we put paywalls on certain information or what you know what do you guys think anyways that's it for this video i'm signing out you guys have a good one lurkers peace